uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to another rip-roaring PUBG mobile excursion. This time we're going to be talking about one of, well, I think this is a pretty special place to rotate to. And if you get stuck up in this neck of the woods, this is a great space to make an early rotation to and hold because it's one of those areas on the Erangel map where I've won a lot of games, a lot of games. And bear in mind, I've been playing basically since day one in PUBG Mobile. And this place has never really let me down. It's one of the uh, most solid things you can do is rotating along this section of the map. Now, I'm going to show you this gameplay here. Uh, I think this is live on stream. Uh, I'm running a hell of a loadout here, Org and an AWM, which doesn't hurt at all. But you'll note that when I look at the map, it's pretty quick for me to decide where I'm going to go. One of the places that I don't like rotating into is the middle of Yasna. Uh, I find that if you rotate into the middle of an urban area and it doesn't go to you, then that rotation becomes deadly because you end up rotating out of that area with a lot of people who quite often have been camping in that space the whole game. North George Pole uh, or South George Pole town just behind crates uh, is another one of those where it's like a death sentence trying to rotate out of their late game. And I think I may have done a video on that at some other point in time. So I will rotate into the kind of edge of Yasna first because you can always rotate into it in a car. Like it's just like a, a crusher compound in a car kind of thing. And it's not hard to do. But if you go all the way in, someone blows your car and the next thing you know, you're on the Foot Falcon. You end up in different buildings. It becomes very, very difficult. This, this place that I want to show you now is, it's good because it combines both great hardcover, a great overlook, and it's a good choke point for keeping the bad guys in front of you. Um, and those those things are important if you want to be successful in PUBG Mobile. It's like you use the blue zone. Quite often you'll, you'll back up against the blue zone because it means that you can be more effective. You don't have to worry about people coming at you from behind. Now, it's this area here on the other side of Yasna Polyana. It's above the lake. It's just to the north of that position that I was just in. One of the great things about it is that no one can attack you from the lake area. Everyone that's coming at you across this wide open field is going to be visible. And along the edge next to the rocks, there's a little trench. So you can actually just prone or crouch in that trench and no one can really get up towards you. Also, you can watch people rotating around the edge towards you because they don't swim across the lake, obviously. And you can sit up with third person on either end of that ridge line. It's almost like being on the beach with none of the downside. <laughs> and you'll see here, as I look at this circle, I immediately know where I want to go once I get healthy. And I'm just like, dudes, let's go make our rotation. Because Uncle Bushka's got a spot that he just absolutely adores around the back end here. Now, what you will find is that you will get squads trying to pincer you almost. Um, people will rotate up behind us, but they will also rotate as a small blue single story down here and then there's a compound that you can hear people firing in on our right as we're coming in a little bit further north of us but you see right next to the rocks here there's these little dips uh and you can actually nestle down into them um which is ideal the rest of it's all open field there's another one there's a little dip right there you can see duck down and you're safe as houses so there's people behind us there's people down the hill all of these people are in a tight spot because we've got overlook on everyone. And anyone kind of running in behind us or coming in along this, this edge here is going to be exposed from somewhere. Like the people on the other side of the lake can shoot across at them. We can shoot down at them. Uh, there's no open cover there for them to, to get to. They just get stuck. And I can also see these guys rotating around which is really good for us. It means that we know we've got to move all the way down the other end to cover them off, and that's quite easy to do. Uh, or we can just sit tight here and, and fight them along that ridge line. But you can see there's 15 people left, 12 outside of us, so probably about three or four squads. And 
they're all struggling and we've got here early. And getting here early is so very, very important because if you are rotating into this spot, the people who are holding it have all the power. Remember how we talked about coming out of Yasna's a pain in the ass? Um, you can hear the gunfights going on on the other side of the map, on the other side of Yasna, as people try and rotate out because they're stuck. They're coming from an urban area into a wide open field. Unlike us, we've already gone and chosen the poison and we're very, very happy with it. There are some places like this that have changed over time um, that I've done videos on before. And that's disappointing. Like there was the uh, the dip just uh, between Gatka and George Pole Crates below the mountains there where the radio tower is. And they've changed all that so it's not quite as strong as it once was. But this slot here along this ridgeline has not changed at all. It's beautiful. It's been this way for as long as I can remember. And I always feel so confident once I get into this slot here. Um, it, rotating into this, I'll just show you another angle of the area to our west where if you were to rotate in, just there's like a single story house and there's nothing else. Have a look at this and you'll see what I mean. Like, And remember... If you're trying to rotate in, look what that looks like for you. It's just broken. It's such a nasty place. As these guys are finding out, you can't go directly up the ridge line. You're just going to get smashed. You can't flank wide and come back in. You're going to get smashed. You can jump down into the water. I mean, that might be your best bet. But rotating in along the back end of the blue, and it's even worse, and I've seen this happen a lot, didn't happen in this game, when there are people holding the compound that's northwest of you here. Now, it's important to hang on to your car because if you do have a car, you can make a rotation and try and crush that compound uh, or move back up the hill. If you don't have your car, you like anywhere else, if the circle moves away from you, this can become a bit tough. But it's much tougher for the people trying to move in. Uh, one, of the, one of the difficult things I find in these situations is if you get knocked, um, that's when your team... Obviously, people can make pushes. Uh, you've got to be very careful of that at all times. But you can see as Nozlo goes down, uh, it's it's actually not that bad. I'm, I'm focusing less on reviving Noz and in stopping this push here because that was really, really important to get those guys out. I didn't want them getting on our flank. And now I know that everyone coming out of Yasna Polyana has belted each other. Like, you've heard non-stop gunshots from over that direction. And even though we're dead set in the middle of the circle, my first thought here is to get the hell around and see exactly where these guys are. They've already rotated through there. They've gone way left. They're still here. And this is the other beautiful part about this Yasna Polyana rotation. Um, all along this ridge line, you have this slight cover, but when you're pushing up into it, you're actually going to get third person every single time. And you'll see exactly what I mean right here. Only three guys left. And as we push down, we're above the targets. So we can see them moving around. We can easily track targets uh, as they move up. There's one just there. There's two of them moving up there. So we're going to take position here and just hold. And this is where being a little bit higher up and being out of Yasna Polyana means that you can kind of pick your gunfights. And this is just a much better space to be in. You can see the rotation in here is not good. There's the first guy, and then we keep pushing down and take third person again on the next guy as he gets stuck here. Just, just a very tough gig. And the last guy is actually tried to rotate down below us across the lake. Can't blame him. Uh, rather than fight those two and their squad, he's jumped in the water and swum across. And you can't get up here. Like, he's stuck at the bottom. He's just stuck down the bottom. There's nothing you can do about it. He's absolutely screwed. That's it. That's uh, what I would consider this a... Uh, a position of power. This is a place where if you get best. here early and often, um, you'll be very, very happy with the outcome. And it's a it's a 
good thing to bear in mind. Anytime you can get into a place like this where one whole side of the map is taken care of by the water, like no one's rotating into you, that can even if they come across, they can't do anything to you. Um, so you basically just have these choke alleyways and that's all you've got to hold. And every time someone's trying to push you, they are actually probably going to be in competition to get to that spot. It's a really lovely place to be. I hope you enjoyed that. hope it helps you win more games in PUBG Mobile. I'm Bushka. Look after yourselves. Stay safe on the battlefield. Um, and I'll see you real soon. If you know of any other places like this that you can think of offhand, why not leave a comment down below and uh, let me know where you think they are. And uh, I might go and have a look at them. Until next time, look after yourselves and bye for now.